Good morning, my beautiful people. This is Ayokunle from uh, Blooming Gardens again. Uh, I'm, I started a couple of a series uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, and I call it the Bushman series. And I said I want to, I want to start traveling my country, the beautiful country of Nigeria. And uh, today I'm in the city of Oshogbo. Yes, I'm in Oshogbo in Oshun State, and I'm here with that guy in the black Jaramia. He's a friend of mine. His name is Ahmed. And um, he's doing some wonderful stuff with his uh, fish pond air. And I'll just go around and show you some impressive things I, I see that he's doing here. So just hang out. And uh, I mean, what, first thing before I go into the interlude, you can see he has about seven, eight, nine ponds there. And you can look at them. Typical ponds that you would see, you would expect that uh, they are smelly, they are black. But look at this fresh water and guess what the fish in this pond is an average of about four kilograms four kilograms is like uh, almost two feet in length a couple of weeks ago i told you i was in lokoja and i had some massive fish you know those this, this fish is uh, that are in these ponds are the kind that uh, i ate in lokoja and it's a struggle for a lot of uh, farms to attain this kind of size this kind of weight he's doing four three to four kilograms on the average and um, I mean, you can see some of them popping out there. Uh, I don't know if you can catch it on the video, but they're popping out. They're doing very well. So I mean, what is he doing here? And I'll, I'll just show you a, a, a little bit of what he's doing. Um, you can see water flowing out of those pipes and running. You can see, uh, let me see if I can show you the other one there. Yeah, water is flowing, and he's been able to create a very uh, he's been able to come up with a very creative way of getting water to flow constantly all over his farm um, and I'll show you what he's doing let me move closer Ahmed come to my people and say hi hello uh, everybody your, your hi. beautiful face my name is Ahmed Oene and <laughs> this is Oshobo life and uh, this is our farm and uh, we want to show you around with our water system what we do here so this is the water system running we have a pipe connected from the from the stream. And that's the All right, so running. There's a stream. If you come over here, the stream is left. You also hold on. You're gonna see the stream better from here. This is the stream. Okay. And so there's uh, a stream right there. We just run the pipe through, and we have a filter in the pipe. We dip it into the stream, and we connected it right up to the upland. Before you go, Ahmed, hold on. Let me also mention that in that stream, I can see fish, live fish, tilapia. Yeah. Tilapia flowing naturally, and it's not even bothered about catching them. But they're still small, though. But it just tells you the health of the water in the stream. All right, so, yeah, tell us about your electrical watering system that you have here. Yes, um, this is the electrical water. We have a pumping machine here. Yeah? And uh, we have timer. These are two timers. This, uh, the first timer will run the pumping machine for 40 minutes, and the second timer will cut it off, and the machine will rest for another 20 minutes. So the, the machine is actually running now. You can see water flowing from each to each pond from the red from the stream. So it's just like the fish are in their natural habitat. So once we have electricity and we have a constant, uh, constant water flowing through our farm, and we don't have to rely on NEPA alone, we, you can do an inverter or a solar system by running all your water system. So we don't have to rely that, okay, government will, will do everything for us. Uh, or is there power or is there no power? Okay, while, while you're on the topic of power, let me mention at this point, I entered into this city of Oshogo yesterday, and one of the very first things that I noticed was that there was light everywhere. I slept with light overnight, and according to my friend here, he says there are 20 hours of light every single day. In Oshogo, people of Nigeria, can you believe that? Yes, 20 exactly. hours of electricity in Oshogo. Yeah. That's why he's been able to create this kind of thing, because right now, this pump... Let me summarize what you just said. This pump provides fresh water 
for 40 minutes intervals every hour. So it is permanently running 24-7. The timer make, switches it on, lets the water run for 40 minutes. The timer automatically switches it off, lets it rest for 20 minutes, and it just continues on and on. How is he able to do this? Simply because he has very good electricity. Lego, a Nigerian government, are you hearing? <laughs> Give us light, oh, things will happen. People will create stuff. That's one of the reasons why he's able to achieve 4 kilogram. Okay, did you hear nah, that? The timer is off. 20 minutes, the timer just went off on its own. Nobody's uh, touching it. Now, nah, so it's going to rest for another 20 minutes now. In another 20 minutes, it picks up and it runs for another 40 minutes. Constantly, Constantly 24 hours, as morning as and night. So for the fish, night. it appears like it's a flowing river because they're getting fresh water. The water is not smelling, it's not contaminated. And, and it reduces your mortality. Right? Ah, Nigeria, give us water, give us light, give Once us light. Water and um, sometimes uh, when you look at challenges, we have a lot of farmers that they have to get a manual pumping machine with petrol and they have to start pumping every day. It is manual and it is a cake. You can't get good hands doing that every day or running to about 10 or 7 pumps every day. Is a serious with, labor work. With this system that my friend has put up here, he's the only one managing seven pounds and he spends roughly 30 to one hour air every day, unless there's some extra work he needs to do. Yeah. 30 to one hour every day, only person. He gets into bringing guys only when he wants to harvest or when he wants to stock up or when he wants to do proper maintenance. Cost savings. And the fish is doing better. They're getting bigger. Ah! And, and you can you can run up to about 50 to 100 pounds in in three to four hours if you plan yourself properly and um, your water system is running feeding you don't have to feed twice or three times a day for you to have uh, a good result of bigger fish once a day it makes the fish consume and process the feed they actually eat so we can achieve big sizes by feeding just once a day in the morning you can choose time in the morning or in the afternoon so allow another 24 hours before you come back and do the feeding and we can show you result of what we're doing this is a uh, is a research center at the same time we're working how to run the business on a small scale and how to take it on a large scale so I think that's about it and uh, the water system is resting for now I leave the rest to Kunyaga <laughs> You've heard it from the master himself. You've heard it from Ahmed. I'm totally blown out, totally wowed out today. And I just thank God for this opportunity to visit this place in Oshogbo. Okay, so this is Kunle signing out. My friends, uh, you're on Instagram, right? Yeah. What's your uh, all right, reach out to me if you want to reach out to him. He does consulting, he does uh, farm set, uh, fish farm setup. He does fish farm setup for people if you're interested. Uh, I mean, you can reach out to me and I'll definitely link you up. This is Ayokunle from Blooming Gardens. See you on my next video. Enjoy and have a wonderful day. I'm going to enjoy myself in Oshogbo for the next two days. I'm actually here for an event. Uh, All Farmers Association of uh, Nigeria, Oshun State Chapter, is having an annual event. And I'm here to tell them about some of the stuff that I'm also doing in Lagos. All right, so... See you on my next video. Take care and have fun.